mother of this universe. Thank you, Mom, for allowing us to come together in this Sunday as this evening on this first day of April 2022. Mom, your love for us is so immense, it's unmeasurable. Ma, we pray for all those who are sick and suffering, those who could not be here for one reason or the other. Ma, your name heals all pains and sufferings. Ma, continue to show us how to love, to live and to let live, and to uphold, up, up, uplift, and only share positive vibrations. Prevent us, Ma, from judging, from finding faults with others. Ma, let us learn to love all and serve all. In your name, we assemble the seniors. Jagadambe Bhavi Shankar Mahanaki Jai.
We turn tonight to the very first focus, the very first chapter of Shri Ramchandramanas, composed by Goswami Tulsidasji. This beautiful prayer, glorifying the Lord Shri Ganesha Gandhi Bhagavan, Mother Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, and of course, Mother Vani, the goddess of speech. Over the next nine nights, we ask Mother Vani to sit upon our tongues, myself and the other pundits, all the Vedanta and the singers, and to you two, members of the audience, for it. To guide us in speech, in word and thought and being. Malkan chapter 1, O Swami Tulsidas Shri Nidana. Varnana Arta Sankhana Rasana Chitta Sankhapi Mangala Thank you. 
श्लोकी स्तोत्र महामंत्र नारायण ऋषि अनुस्कुप आदि चंद श्री महाकाली महालक्ष्मी महासरस्वत्यो देवता श्री जगदंबाप्रीते अर्थापते चेतमसी देवी भगवती महामाया प्रयचति दुर्गे स्मृता हर्षिवीति स्मृतामती दारिद्रदुखारिणी कामया शिवे शरण्यंबके नमोस्तुते शरणागतना आता परिणामी सर्वसे आदि हरे देवी नारायणी नमोस्तुते सर्वस्वे सर्वेश सर्वशक्ति सामने हरे भास पाए दुर्गे देवी नमोस्तुते
what we have just done together is glorify the nine forms of the deity. The Navratri, we all know, nine nights of worship. To Jagat Jalini, Adi Shakti, the Havani Shankar Durgama. A beautiful description of the name of that divine voice. Hindu spirituality has the foundation of singular unity basically for man as well. And once that beyond duality, one that is beyond duality, two is and beyond comprehension. But the single divinity of Jagadambe Ma, it manifests through multiplicity. That's why it's so many different forms, the nine forms. And duality starts when one becomes two, God and Goddess. Devotees, each of the forms of the deity, the divine duality, God and Goddess, then take three pathways of manifestations. Through the qualities of creation, maintenance and destruction. Simply, Rajas, Tamas and Sattva. The internal state of this male divinity is seen as three states of consciousness, waking, dreaming and casual being. This internal form of Shakti, known as Sri Shakti, is the power of being. Then there is Bhu Shakti, the power to create, and then Kali Shakti, the power of the material world, time and change. The male forms, we know them very well, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva Manish. And the female forms, the three, Trinity, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Durga, Kali, The interaction of these energies is very complex. Very, very complex. And it creates the reality that we perceive that Durga is Sri Shakti. She is the primary power from which all other forms manifest. I repeat, Durga is the primary form from which all others manifest. In other words, she is the creatrix of every single entity in this entire universe. Not just this world, but the entire universe. She holds the highest state of stature when it comes to this. The creatrix, make no mistake. Durga has nine main forms that she manifests and we worship on these nine eyes. Devotees, all forms are just one face of the mother. And what do we mean by this? We were all born from the womb of a mother. There are many toddlers, the Nayakis and the others in this planet. Many toddlers. We were once a toddler, a child. We became a teenager. And now we reside in an adult body. You see, that's the same person. Different stages, different forms. Similarly, the same mother. Assuming different forms for different purposes. As we'll understand over the next nine nights. My dear brothers and sisters, this divine energy manifests different states and we call these states by different names. These forms can be associated also with the nine Vedic planets, but they are not covered by the planets. The number nine is very significant. We are able to hear a lot about that tonight. The forms of the divine mother are the supreme powers of the universe who are energy behind these planets. I think sometime ago we had a discussion. Do we know what powers the sun? Does anybody know what powers or who powers the sun? Is there a nuclear reactor inside the sun? What powers the sun? Yes, but the divine, the divine goddess. She is that source of energy that can power the sun. This is why we glorify her, Adi Shakti Maha. Durga is the power of Brahma, Vishnu. And Mahesha, everything comes from her. Whenever we have an opportunity to propitiate her, to worship her, like this, especially if you're this time, seize this, that opportunity. That opportunity may never come again. Seize the opportunity. Don't wait just for that afternoon. Every single Friday is a special day. Today was the day today. Today is on Friday. A beautiful day to begin with this auspicious celebration. Honoring her is honoring our feminine creative source. The source of whom we are. 
Tonight, we go into baby Harutan and we speak about the forms of the baby. Durga Sattashati tells us as we extract these beautiful verses. Om Namastanikai Nama Shri Markandeya Vaja Prathamam Saila Puttrija Dhritiyam Brahmacharini Dhritiyam Chandrayante Kushmadevi Chaturdakam Panchamam Skandavadevi Shastam Gagyayani Vija Sattamam Kalatri Mahagauri Mastamam Namam Siddhi Patri Chal Namam Durga Patri Hara Utani Dhyani Namani Brahmanaiva Mahatmana Prince Sarvani Shakti Vedi Bhavani Shankar Mata Ki Jai Now, those of you those of us on social media who have seen all of the posts today on the form of Mr. Durga Mahatma. Let me ask you, I'm sure most of you have social media. Which form of the Divine do we worship for the first time? What is she called? Shaila Putri. Shaila Putri. Shaila Putri is human body. Shaila Putri is likened to the moon and Hara Chakra. So we're going to go into a look at yoga also tonight. The moon and chakra is the chakra at the very base, the first chakra in this body. There are seven major chakras, but tonight we will be with nine of them, there are additional ones. And we'll, we'll sort of link, I'll show you the linkage between the chakras, each chakra, and the nine forms of the deities. Incidentally, for now, Rat, how many colors of flags do we put? Do we, do we offer? Nine, that's right, nine colors. They also coincide with the chakras, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate that tonight. Not Durga, Durga Mata, and Lord Ganesha, they reside in the moon and Hara Chakra. All creation starts or begins at the moon and Hara Chakra. Then, we go to the Swadhisthana Chakra. Swadhisthana Chakra. The Manipur Chakra is next. The Vajra Dhara Chakra, the Anahata Chakra, which is the heart. The Surya Chakra, the solar plexus. Then, the Vishuddhi Chakra, the throat. The Ajniya Chakra, which is where we ask, where we instill that image of Bhagavan, and of course, the Shahastara Chakra. All nine chakras tie in now to one form, one of the nine forms of the deities. And also, each of these chakras, they have a unique color, which also matches the nine flags, the colors of the nine flags that we use during our battery. When we awaken in the Shahastara Chakra, the Kundalini, the half moon lotus, in the root chakra, it begins to journey upwards. So what we do on the first time, what the battery I shall explain. We begin to open the first chakra, which is the moon and heart chakra. And we see those chants and those bhajans and those mantras, those powerful songas that we just chanted. This, the, the Vedic chants, that Sanskrit Vedic chants, what it does is the meters and, and, and the power that we are chanting with, it energizes that chakra. This is why your body feels like it wants to dance. Your, your paws start in direction. Tears begin to flow from the eyes. You begin to perspire. That chakra is beginning to awaken. Make no mistake, it is awake tonight. You can feel the energy. And on the night night, when that energy center reaches up now to the Hastara chakra, when we connect with Bhagwan, when we connect with the baby, then the shakti, the shakti takes over. You begin to dance. Your, your, your mind, you are, in, you are in, 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 in love. You are in a trance with the blessings of the Nehima, the beauty and the energy of Bhavani Shankarma. Pray Sambhava Jagannathe Bhavani Shankarma Ki! Can I, can I, can I, can I? A little bit about Shaila Putri Devi. She is the first manifestation of God's Purga. In her hands, she holds a Kisoo in one hand and a lotus in the other. And she rides a boy called Nandi. Goddess Parvati was born as a daughter of Himalaya and in Sanskrit, Shail means mountain. And thus she is known as Shail Putri. Devi Bhagavatam tells us now that the description of Shail Putri. Rain, Simon Jagan, Devani, Shankar, Mata, Ki. Focus on the day now. Prathamam Durita. Shri Ram, 
I'd like to ask the other subjects tonight on the Jaya, on the Ganesh, on the Kodashi. Every single night for the next nine nights, let us sing this bhajan. And let us bhajan speak the words that speak in your hearts and your minds. And whenever you go before Mark, in your homes, in your altar, when you come here to give him under, in your minds, while the pundits are reciting those beautiful mantras, sing this bhajan. Oh Mother, how dear is your affection to us? How much love awaits us? It protects our every breath and it safeguards us our lives with every step. You are the wealth and the prosperity of the missionaries, O Mother. You are the devotion of the Lord Rahman. You are the mind of the illusionary power of the You are the divine creative energy of Shakti of Lord Shiva. You create destiny within you. Your own hands always come to rescue us, O Mother. You are the great goddess Kali, Mother Durga, and the childlike Kamani. You are the goddess Dara and Shanta. Saraswati described in the Puranas. You are the language of the Vedas. You take us as children under your protection, Ma. Devotees, I ask you all the time. Thank you. Let's give Padijan a little round of applause. What a hard working, wonderful story. Thank you, Padiji. Thank you, Padiji. Thank you, Padiji. Thank you, Padiji. I'd like to get all of you sing more excuses with the lyrics in here. Come on, sing the love to me. Sadhana Mangala Mangari Shire Sarva Prasadi Sharanya Brahma Devori Narayani Namosuri
to all the mothers in the audience tonight, I say to all of you, thank you and God bless you for doing your duty in this world tonight. My mother, who I think is the same in Trinidad tonight, she's not going to sleep. Ma, I love you. I seek your blessings always. Devotees, once upon a time, we go to Devi Mahalo At the holy site of Zain Shari, the sage Shamaji, another serious, they asked somebody to who was perhaps, perhaps the best poet amongst the experts of the Vedas. Oh, wise one, Augustine. Now describe to us that Purana that tells us or provides us with happiness, joy, and the bliss of heaven, as well as the emancipation of salvation. How do we get this thing called emotion? Describe that scripture which contains and details the glories and the famous stories of David Bhagavati. And by us listening now, which is the ninefold path of devotion, the submission to the Supreme Lord called Navada Bhakti. And if you are familiar with Ramachandra Sri Ramachandra Manas, Goswami Tulsilachi wrote beautifully in Aranyaka, and Lord Rama spoke to Mother Shabdi about Navada Bhakti. Nanda Bhakti, its spouse in the bosom of even those people who are devoid of divine wisdom and enlightenment. Its spouse in the bosom of men, ordinary men. Now, Sai Suji began to speak. Began to speak. He said the most sacred and untold Purana is called the Mahabhanavata. It was first narrated by Lord Shiva to the sage Nara Guniyari This Bhagavatam, this Quran we see about this, was first narrated by Lord Shiva, directed to the sage Narada In some ancient time, it was repeated by Devyasji. And the most intelligent and wise Devyasji, who was eager to have the devotion of the goddess, Luka, what did he do? He went to the Himalayas, he did severe tapas, austerities, and penance for her. And pleased with his tapasya, goddess, Shervani, another name for Shervani. God Shervani, who is the benevolent and kind towards the devotees, she spoke to Narad, she spoke to, to Suchi from the heavens. And she said, Oh great sage, you must go to the abode of Brahma, Lord Brahma, where all the Suchis, the Vedas are present. And you will come to know about my supreme truth and essence there. When the Vedas begin to pray to me, I shall manifest myself, you see. When the Vedas begin to pray to me, I shall manifest myself there, and I shall fulfill whatever your wish is. Thereafter, as instructed by the Divine Heavenly Voice now, Lord Dev Yasri went to the abode of Lord Brahma, and there he bowed before the Vedas, before the Vedas, for Gandhimal texts. He bowed to the Vedas to show his respect to them, and Hearing now is one question from the sage. The Vedas replied immediately one by one as follows. I want you to listen very carefully. The Vedas are going to speak. The Rig Veda said, All creatures are established in her. The whole world is produced from her. And she is called the supreme and the absolute truth in creation, says the Rig Veda. She is known as Goddess Bhagavati. The Ajun Veda began to speak. Yajur Veda says, she is worshipped by performance of various prior sacrifices. How many was Pandiji had done tonight? And on Saturdays we perform Purna Huti outside, earning 100 acre press in the Alta Hanapur. By the way, I know you are anxious to get to, to claim that the ash, that the names, remnants of the ash, that is Vibhuti. It has healing power. We'll speak about that later in the week. Then, then, the sound Veda began to speak now. The sound Veda says, she bears the entire world away. The yogis, the ascetics, the consecrate and meditate upon her. And the world has been brought to life, created, and manifested, manifested in a physical form because of her. Sound Veda says, she is known as Durga, who pervades uniformly the entire creation. And now, the Athar Veda began to speak. The Athar Veda says, those on whom the goddess is kind and benevolent have the opportunity of having a darshan, a divine and a side, are bestowed with devotion. 
The people call that goddess as Bhagavati Durga Maya, who is also the supreme Brahma personified. And that is the answer to the four questions today. Now, listening to the solemn and affirmative words of the Vedas, they ask you to determine conclusively that Bhagavati Durga is indeed Brahma personified. And the Vedas said, even once again, we shall show you personally what we have just said so that you can verify the truth for yourself. The book is the highlight of this Bhagavati Maya. Saying all of this now, all of the Vedas began now praying to the Supreme Goddess, who is an embodiment of the Supreme and Eternal Bliss, pure and uncorrupt, and she encompasses and incorporates all the gods and goddesses in her single cell. The Vedas said, and I quote, O Durga, benevolent and gracious to the whole world, O thy Supreme One, you have out of your own free will and relying on your own ability, potentials and powers, created from Ima and other powers of the Trinity, Vishnu and Shiva, for the purpose of creation, sustenance, and annihilation of the whole world. And that is why there is no one who has created you, O Mother. Who in this world is ever capable or has the power of describing your virtues and qualities, which are beyond reach of comprehension of the mind and intellect? Devotees, we are just barely scratching the surfaces tonight in our description. Lord Vishnu is able to slay the most formidable of all demons in the battlefield and thereby protect the three worlds from the tyranny and torments due to the powers and potential effects of worshipping you, O Ma. Devotees, even when Lord Shiva, as we know very well from Shiva Puran, before he drank the halal and poison, when his throat became nil and blue throated, before he drank that halal and poison, he prayed to the Jagajan and Bhavani Shankarma. And what did she do? She grabbed onto his throat, not to choke him, but to keep that poison right here to hold on to him. That is the power of the divine or the protectors. Ravan, we go to Ravan for a second. Ravan, Ravan propitiated Mother Durga. He was a astute devotee of Lord Shiva and Mother Durga. Mother Durga resided in Lanka for a period of time, you know this, as the protectress. Lanka, Mother Durga resided in Lanka as protectress. To what nice Katha? We will understand all that. Clear about what happened after that, the consequences. The potential of destroying all three worlds by invoking the blessings, enshrining the holy feet of the Divine Mother is what Lord Shiva used for her to hold on to that poison on his neck, on his throat. Oh, Mickey, this mother who protects the three worlds, how can we, the Vedas are saying us, how can we ever begin to describe your divine, famous, legendary stories and, and glories? Sage Sukhmuriji says, Being thus honored and prayed now to by the Vedas, the truthful and eternal mother of this world called Jagadamba. Jagadamba, who is also named Sadi herself, she revealed herself. Friends, the mother Jagadamba, Bhavani Shankar Mataki. Jai. As the mother reveals herself now, let us glorify her with this next bhajan. The bhajan says, Hail to thee, universal mother, a glory to thee, a victory to thee. Ma, thou art the embodiment of supreme dignity and wealth. I make my obeisances to thee. Save me from suffering, O Ma, and all kinds of pain. Walking to visit your temple, my feet feels no strain. Protect me, dear mother, as you have done in the past, against all wrongs. Let my resolve be firm. Inadequate I am to sing your greatness, and this the entire world I truly knows. Whoever well, accept this suffers, not from your strong and sorrows, we prostrate before you. The poem is measured tonight, composed by Dalaji, the late Pandit Ayom Shahaji. Yame Sarva Bhuneshu Jagadam Devu Pain Samsita Namastasya 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 Namo Thank <laughs> you. 
most precious. Devotee, this week, God of the Lord and Lady Star this evening. I promise you the rest of this year yet we start promptly at 7 o'clock with production. So, for the next few minutes, please allow me to summarize this my heart. What we are unable to get to tonight, we shall definitely continue tomorrow in my last call. I invite all of you to join me tomorrow night as well for a second night of this beautiful year again. And we'll continue on to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Punjab, and Punjab. And I'll be back with you on Thursday. I'll be here Sunday as well. I'll be back with you on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and for Sunday morning as of course, shoot down on me. Friday night, we will have our Durga Shri celebrations and Kanya Kumari Puja. Please come prepare to worship the Nau Kanyas and the Eta Kumar. And of course, on Saturday, as I mentioned, we will put to perform Purna Muti outside with the 100 Nau Kumaras. As I summarize tonight, Bhavani who resides in the bosom of all creations, in the form of a divine light of consciousness. When the Veda springs, she reveals herself out of her own free will. Why? To destroy the doubts, the confusions, and the perplexities of Vedyasri. Thereafter, realizing our wishes of Vedyasri, God's Bhagavati showed his divine lotus that is present as a mark on the soul of a feet. Did you know this? That lotus is marked on the soul of the feet of Bhagavati Devi Maya. The sage Vedic asked him, he saw this Purana called the Mahabharata, the, the Mahabharata from which we are quoting from tonight. Is inscribed in divine Sanskrit letters on those petals of that 1000 petals of that lotus that is on the feet of Devi Bhagavati Maya. And here, Devi Yasuji brought to light now. He preached, he wrote, and he prophesied this holy divine Purana called Srimad Devi Mahabharata Purana. There's also the Ramayana Mahabharata Purana, which I'll quote from tomorrow night. Exactly as I'm witnessing, present on the lotus, on the soul of the feet of the Lord in Maya. My dear brothers and sisters, in this way, this divine great Purana was then revealed to the entire world of mankind by the goddess herself to enable the most evil, sinful, and vile of men to get protection, solace, secure and deliverance of this world. Maybe tomorrow night we chant the Devi Sutras. Eleven verses, powerful verses, which glorifies the mother in different forms. One may ask a question, you know. Can anyone in this world, can any creation, any human being, good or bad, receive the blessings of the Shakti of Mom? Let me ask you that question tonight. What's the answer? Can anyone, good or bad, Rakshas and Buddha? So one can be a Rakshas for half his life and a Jain and a Jain man in the world. Devotees, yes, you know why? I'll tell you this, my personal experience, continuous experience. Mother, when you go before her, when you submit to Mother, unconditionally, you know what she does? And I have witnessed this. Come to me, my child, as long as I'm under, under, under you are under my protection. There's nothing in this world that can ever harm you. Make no mistake. I say this, I share this with you. Come to me, my child, she's a protectress. As long as you're under my wings, my arms, there's nothing in this world that ever hurt you. Let me draw a reference. If something happens to your child, your mothers especially tonight, if something happens to your child, if your child goes missing, just for a few minutes, how do you feel? Emma, how do you feel? My, Youngest daughter, she was seven years old, and we were at a, a, a shop in Miami. And what did she do? She was about two and a half, three feet tall. So she was looking at clothing while the mother shop was there. The mother missed her for two minutes. Let me tell you something. That day I saw the wrath of mother, because I paid for it. I saw the wrath of mother. The 
But you know what? I also saw a baby. She started calling that child and the name, the way she was calling the child. Anjali Devi is going to be baby behind tonight. Anjali. If he goes missing, Ashwin, if, if he goes missing for just a minute, for example, I don't know how many That is the love of the mother. That love, love, money cannot buy that. And you cannot, you cannot order it on Amazon. They don't stay. That love has to be earned. And how do we earn it? To Kali Ma Kali Durga To Himal Baba Understands when you go before her, she's soft, she's subtle, she's, she, she might be weak in striking, but she's strong in suffering. Every mother in your tonight. They are weak in striking. You probably get more legs from your daddy than your mommy. But strong in suffering, make no mistake. The pain that a mother can bear for a child, there's no other creature in this world that can ever bear that pain. This is why she's known as a protectress. She is the personification of tender love. When we go, this recently, last month we celebrated Mahashivaratri. When we go before Bhagavan Shiva, it's a different offering, it's a different environment. And so, it's a little bit more Shakti driven. Not that she's not Shakti driven. It's more energetic. When we go before Ma, it brings us down to humble, being simple. And being like a pet that go before her, the mother of this universe. This is how we see her name. And we see her. When she opens her arms, and she takes us, all of her children, under protection. And we submit to her. We install her in the Anahati chapter, in the heart. And she sits on that pet. And the whole thing is, I share this with you Listen carefully. When mother sits in our heart, or the mind, the general, sits in our heart, every word, every thought, every deed, every action, it has to pass through her. In other words, she has to put her stamp of approval before it escapes from the deadliest weapon in this body. So if Ma is ready with us, there will be no profanities, there will be no hatred, there will be no anger, there will be nothing negative coming out of the mouth or the tongue. Because Ma is here. Instead, all that we will hear is, Love. 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 I know we've been away for almost two years because of the pandemic, but I want you guys to look very closely to the left of you tonight. You always do this exercise every time. Look to the left of you. You know this person? You know this person? Say these words to this person. I love you. Come on. Go back to the screen. You won't get in trouble, I promise you. Now look to the person to the right of you. I love you for energy. Look to the person to the right of you. You know this person? Say to this person, I love you. What you have done there for this. That simple exercise of breaking down the negativities that exist in mankind. The next time somebody cuts you off on the highway or the sense of rage, don't show them any kind of you know, hand signs and so forth. Tell them, I love you. Speak to it. My dear brothers and sisters, mother has carried us in her wolf for nine months in most cases. Won't tell. This number nine. Significant to the nine chapters we spoke about earlier, the nine colors of the flags, Pranavratri, the nine planets. Now Kanya Puja that we perform, and the nine forms of the mothers. We spoke about the Navda Bhakti when Lord Rama spoke to Shadima. What are they? Shravanam, listening or hearing the names of the Lord, which are doing tonight. Kirtanam, chanting his glories. Smarana, remembering the Lord. Pad Sivan, worshipping the Lord's feet. Archana, worshipping the Lord again. Pandana, observing, offering obeisances to the Lord. Dasya, serving the Lord as his servant. Sakya, developing friendship with that Lord. Atmanevi, total surrender to oneself. Finally tonight, 
is approximately 1 million 440,000 human years. If you think, I'm going to send you all the school numbers, you're going to do some math. 1, 4, 4, 0. So if you add 4 plus 4 plus 1, how much do you get? 9, right? Treta you. 1 million and 80,000 human years. 1 and 8 equals 9. Dwapari you. 720,000 years. 7 plus 2 is 9. Kaliyo, you in right now. 360,000 human years. 3 plus 6 is how much? When the soul leaves this body, it leaves you one of nine gates. Not so? Here's the significance of nine again. Ears, nostrils, mouth, the eyes, and the two organs, the three pastures. My dear brothers and sisters, in addition, there are nine Puranas, 108 Mahapuranas, and the Mahabharata has 18 chapters. One and eight, nine again. The war at Mahabharata lasted for 18 days. One and eight, nine again. Srimad Bhagavad Gita, 18 chapters. One and eight, nine again. And also it has one, the Bhagavad has 108,000 shlokas. Do the math. One and eight, all up to nine pages. Finally, the message, the theme of this year, yes. Tamasoma Jyotirkame. How do we get rid of this darkness and this delight? There's so much darkness in this world today. To gain the noble virtues and remove the evil tendencies, the mind must be destroyed. Now, I'm not telling you to go and block the mind. Let me see carefully. The mind must be destroyed. So what, are we, what are we destroying? Just so how many people see that does this. So how many people see that does this? Tamarodha madhama So that we may uplift, we may enlighten, we may eradicate this 
sense of darkness, ignorance from our lives. We become better sinners. Let us learn to love all and serve all selfless things. And learn to treat each other equally. And let us not judge others before judging ourselves. Who are you and I to judge? The only person that can judge is right there. You and I are not qualified to judge. We have created more power and put more sin when we do this. Stop this judgment. Look in the mirror first before you point fingers at the Jesus. Pray this about your family, Bhavanish and Kanata. I'd like to ask for the judge to go to the um, the final side, spiny side, sorry, and we'll do one touch and we'll close off. I know I'm going to push it a little bit over because the car is lengthy, we were supposed to go for two hours, but uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Please join us in prayer thanks for the next eight nights of this beautiful Yagya, for the Girish, for the Janji, for the Prakashji. Tomorrow night we focus on Turka again. And of course, next Friday edition is the Ashtin Nash. We have Kanya Puja. Please come prepared to worship our countries while the Kanya Puja is going on. We'll be doing uh, a little fundraiser, a Pajama, so to speak. And uh, Saturday night, that is the Saturday the 9th, again, again, see, 9. We're going to be burning 100 new coconuts outside in the Hanukkah Pumanahoti. And I'll explain what the symbolism of that is. And then, of course, Sunday morning from 10 to 12 noon, we're going to score Sri Ram Nami celebration. It's the birthday of Sri Ram Chandra. I'd like to invite all of you to join us on Saturday, the 16th of April. That is two Saturdays from this Saturday. We'll be celebrating Sri Ramana Jayanti right here at the Devi Mandir. And for those of you who were here two years ago, if you recall, we did 108 Sri Ramana Baby Puja. We'll be repeating that this year. And I believe we have information there on tickets and flyers in the Mandir. You can speak to one of the authorities of the buddies back there. He can uh, sign you up. Please secure that only because last year we ran out at the last minute. We don't want that to happen this year. So everyone has had a chance to perform Puja in Unison. And it's a beautiful morning. Join us. 9 until noon and then we'll come back in the afternoon. We'll also put a on that day. We'll come back in the afternoon for Rama and Katha glorifying Mahavi Swami on his birthday. There will also be a Mother's Day concert fundraiser um, on Sat Saturday May 7th. Saturday May 7th the day before Mother's Day. Right downstairs in the auditorium, the uh, Shanti Jackery will be performing and some funded from Florida will be here as well to sing and to entertain you and uh, certainly we look forward to celebrating Mother's Day with all of your mothers. Tonight I want to extend especially uh, to those online and joining us on the various platforms to the Islamic community, my dear brothers in Islam. Tonight begins your first night of Ramadan, your holy month of fasting. May you have a safe and healthy fast. I say to all my Islamic brothers, Salaam alaikum. Thank you so much, Hebo Jesus. Let us sing this final pleasure tonight as we glorify the Holy Shankarman. The pleasure says, I bow to the Master of God, the grandeur who increases, who removes all difficulties, all the game, destroy all my ignorance, protect me, keep me safe. All the game, protect me, cut the ego, be purified with the one and with God. Let's give a lovely round of applause to all the musicians and baby under the group tonight. Love you. done in Garba style. So let me see what you guys have. <laughs>
Thank you very much. And I'll see you again tomorrow.